So this is what happens if you pull out all the stops. Is there anything in this room we could use to store the air that might play this big part? A pair of lungs. <laughs> big pair of, well, I've got this great big pair of lungs here. Your job, when Duncan tells you, is to release the air from here. So we've got it sealed up at the moment. Do you want to take that off? Yeah. And then you're going to squeeze that and hold it. Because when you let go of it, if you let go of it as a test, Can you hear what's happening? Yeah. So you're in control of it. It's that. like a train. You squeeze that for the time being. Just balance it in there. Perfect. Right, you keep hold of them so they're all nice and sealed in. See this box spiky bits on the side? Yeah. Guess what they're called? Yeah. The ears. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Oh. Does anyone know how we're going to make a sound on this? The light flashes when you hit, when it sees you. Walk towards it, let's see. <laughs> Did you hear what happened? Give us a sound. showed you that it's got a camera, the camera picks up your drawing and then by some very clever computer programming the camera is reading the drawing and it's converting it into digital, a digital feed which is then sent by Wi-Fi up to the organ and decoded at the other end. So have a little go. That's it. Next people on. If you play the bottom note, can you feel it vibrating? It's like it's a really vibrating. You kind of feel it rather than hearing really it. Big. I'm just going to buy those pipes and build myself an organ. Now, see how in this one you were using humans to squash the air out? Because I didn't have enough humans to use, I've swapped humans for big rocks. So this machine is called a sound beam. This machine was invented by somebody because a composer in Bristol called Edward Williams, who wrote music for films, thought it would be really good to have something where you could dance and move and you could play sound. And, he, and a lot of people have used it with people who've got disabilities who can't move very much. 
This machine, the printer that plays music, was invented by a friend of ours because we thought it would be a good idea. Can you all do that? So when you made that sound down a trumpet, it goes like this. It's actually you making the sound and the trumpet turns it into music. And in order to make sound, we need to make air wobble. And one way of making air wobble is to squeeze it through a tiny little gap and then it wobbles. Dot in the middle of that piece, of, in the middle of that page. Yeah, well, not in this, here, in this one. Yeah, but don't push too hard. Make it a bit bigger. Don't have to push so hard. The circle. Perfect. Now, can you give the pen to somebody else? Could you draw a slopey line, a diagonal line, across the page? That's perfect. When the camera sees a mark, it sends some information to this, and this turns it into notes, and then that's connected to the organ using Wi-Fi. So the low, it's playing, is it playing a low note or a high note there? High. Do you think? Should we go and see what happens? Will this go higher or lower? Should we see? Yeah, so the low notes are on this side of the page and the high notes are on this side of the page. Run in, just push it once. Ready, go. I've got these levers at the bottom of the pipes and when you press the lever down it lets the air come up that pipe and it flows. I'll just show you how that works. So all you have to do to make these pipes work is push the lever all the way down. of ultrasound, and ultrasound is so high you can't hear it, but you, because the speed at which the sound travels is about 330 meters in a second, and by measuring how long it takes for the sound to go out and echo back, which is why it makes the clicking noise, it's switching between sending the sound and listening for the sound. Well, my favorite is that uh, you make all the instruments, yeah. My favourite is also making the instruments. Making so, the instruments. Uh, my favourite part was seeing do you want to go and grab um, your the Pompey and the chair and come back here. For it to go up there. Can you print um, the tunes and it would still work? You could. You could print it. You could imagine it. You could draw it. You could draw it with a computer and print it and put it in the machine and it would play it. Yes. William. Well, I have a question. Um, Right at the very start, I said, watch this weight going up and down. And we'd come back to that question later. Do you think you could work out what that weight was actually doing? Because it, it wasn't saying how loud or soft the organ was. It was doing something more technical. What do you think? Let's hear a few answers. Um, if it's like, 
like um, if it's like a high note, um, it goes up, and if it's a low note, it goes down. It's up. not to do with pitch. It's something to do with what we were experimenting with down there. Is it like maybe when you stop it goes down, but when you're playing it goes up and the higher it goes down? That's right, but why? What is happening? Um, is it something that's got to do with air pressure? Yay! Well done! So when I'm playing all the notes on the organ, the, the wind pressure is, 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 is pushing the, the, the weight moving the weight, so it is absolutely to do with the wind pressure. Your favourite bit of the day was? Um, the Can you describe print, it? Um, when we drew the notes and we put it into the thing. Who else wants to say? You can tell me. Um, doing that over there. Making the yeah. instrument. Yeah. Which, yeah. Can you tell me a bit more? What was it about making the instrument? You it really was like? fun and then you could also learn more. Fantastic. Somebody else? Um, I liked the part where you was playing your um, instrument and it felt really relaxing. It was my favourite part of the day because it was fun. How about this fella? My favourite bit was when people kept on jumping onto that. Onto the big air pressure, yeah. yes, wonderful. <laughs> One more, there's another one. Um, making like the instrument. You enjoyed making your instrument? Uh huh. What did you enjoy? Um, I enjoyed when we did Symphony of China. I really liked it because it inspired me to be a musician. <laughs> I like going on the air pressure thingy because it's, it's, it's sort of fun. Turn the pipes upside down this time so you all look like a big organ. Make sure it's no wrinkles there. See the straws held out sideways. After three, we're ready. One, two, three. The organ restored in this church because of funds, money given by the National Lottery Heritage Fund to restore this old heritage item in the church and also for you to experience this educational opportunity to make musical instruments and to understand how it works. And can you believe that Sarah is so incredibly talented that she made this whole organ that you can walk through the middle of and understand how it operates? Give her a huge round of applause. And notwithstanding that, can you imagine how clever she is to have devised how to make a musical instrument in 30 minutes? So thank you, Sarah. Double third level. And then all the technology that you've seen today, the inflatable, the computerised drawing reader, that's all been devised and developed by Duncan and his colleague. So thank you very much to Duncan for this really incredible specialist knowledge. And none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Matt and his dedicated team with Brian, who pieced the whole thing together and made it possible. So thank you so much to, um, to, to Matt and to, to Brian for the work they And of course to Father Bob for allowing this whole thing to happen in the first place. So thank you to you.